may not score in this possession, but there's spacing. You can drive. You can cut. There's the back screen right there. Ian DuBose to the basket. His first two as a deacon. Eight for eight. Ingram reverses. DuBose. Point shoot and display. Wasting no time. Catch, shoot, score. Great looks every time. Good defense. Antonio's three for three. And they're missing a couple of impact players due to injury. Here's Musius for Wake, responding in kind. It's like a scrimmage for us. It's not what you usually hear going up against a power opponent. Well, and, and he meant that because, Jonathan, they haven't had a chance to scrimmage and they haven't had a chance to play with officials yet. Antonio, corner three, goes down for the Demon Deacon. Munoz lost his dribble, and DuBose came away with it. Ian DuBose in transition. With the shot clock winding down. How about that from deep and then some. Ian DeBose. Different jersey winds that shot clock down and lets it go. The long threes have allowed Longwood to get out on the break a little bit. DuBose with quick hands gets it ahead. And Antonio able to finish and up that cushion to 11. DuPose went to the floor to get this. Well, it's a good... Steph Mitchell in the post defending Akpomo. Now here's DuPose to the rack. In December, he scored 22 points. 8 and 14. The 3. And it is good. I'll drive to the hoop. Missed opportunity for BC. DeBose from the elbow. They're starting to heat up a little bit. He had two threes and seven attempts against the Wolfpack. The drive by DeBose. Well, he's not afraid to drive the lane. The defense by BC. DeBose, tenacious to the hoop. 6-20 lead over Boston College right here. High ball screen, side ball screen to help is late uh, for Boston College. That is the reason why Jim Christian called the timeout. Averaging a little bit more than four points. 17 minutes per game. Felder goes double team, but there it is again. Ultimately, it's pulled down by Aguama. And now quickly releasing and scoring, and that's DuBose. Yeah, he's he had that breakout game against BC. In with a nifty dribble to the wing and pull light for three. Not enough on it. There's a wide open run out. Wow, that, and that's so unusual for a Leonard Hamilton team. They got caught. They Witt almost had the steal. Walker tried to cross it over out of the corner. He's looking for a call. He won't get it. Had dribbled himself into a turnover that time. Here at the Tucker Center, made four three pointers in the winning effort. You know, for Florida State, I mean, it's going to be very tough at any point in time. And a nice move inside. That time set his teammate up for a wide open look. Step back three, DuBose hits it. How about Ian DuBose? Or in the half court, don't settle for jumpers. Try to get to the basket. Ian DuBose, a much needed bucket. That's what he's good for. Cousins from St. Louis, and they want the respect. I had a good and bad experience in St. Louis. Okay, Ian DuBose <laughs> knocks it down. What you got? DuBose defended pretty well. Gets the bounce anyway. Yeah, tough shot. He's been quiet offensively in the three-point line. Drive him, make him a mid-range shooter. That was just too easy of a three. Seven and a half for Beverly, and DuBose answers for the Deeks. Great games against the Demon Deacons in his career. And they're going to count the basket. All of a sudden, the floodgates have opened. The confidence in you builds and builds with him. Moore played a season best 30 minutes on Wednesday at Pitt. DuBose lightens it up, drains a three. He said, look, they pose a different problem than NC State, a team that pressures. He said, Clemson is a very physical man-to-man -man team. We must handle their physicality. He sets the screen there. 
And DuBose uses the screen right down the alley for an easy two. Odu Cali with five to shoot. Oh, on the drive, and that got knocked out of bounds. We're going to do that anymore. We won't win games that way. And since then, playing very good basketball and now find themselves in a position to pick up a bye week if they're able to get a win here and Louisville loses to Virginia tomorrow. Jalen Johnson just knocked down a three. A lot more trying to preserve and get this team healthy again for the postseason. That's one of the reasons he is really keen, as you might expect, on getting that double by. But out of the corner, it's Ian DuBose. Plays with a chip on his shoulder. That's one of the reasons why Josh Pastor loves him and also gets it done defensively, but has the ability to make plays. And, of course, right on cue, whenever you talk great about someone, they turn it over. Against Duke on Tuesday, but Josh Pastner said after it, he basically played it on one leg because of the knee injury that he's dealing with. Now, we've seen him running around Gimpy a number of times as he pulled find his way to the rim in transition for the finish however the Moses Wright hustle play may have been the play of this game where Josh Bassman will get away from that zone and go back to traditional man to man and then DuBose got a turnover this is Quadri Adams attacking Alvarado and DuBose stuffs it home we've got a five point game off the turnover, you see Adams picking up the basketball, but give DeBose credit for not assuming it was going to be a bucket and the follow-up slam. We saw one of those from Adams earlier. This time is DeBose. Didn't do anything to deserve that, did I? You, you got to catch them when they're least expecting it. <laughs> I had lulled you into a false sense of security. Good answer from Ian DeBose, who continues an excellent night. Led by my little sis, Kelsey Riggs. Hey! DuBose on the drive, got a foul on DeVoe. Jogo mishandling that pass. Well, tough pass down around the ankles. Long one by DuBose, and they just keep on rainy shots. But zone defense now for Notre Dame. And one of the things, this Wake Forest team will shoot the three. They live by it. And <laughs> when you've got them going in off glass wow. from the top of the key. <laughs> You're going to lie, this is worth another look. Yeah, if Ian DeBose hadn't already made a three from the top of the key, we'd tell him, take this off. It does not count, however. DuBose giving it out to Williamson. Under four minutes to go in the half. Boy, that's a tough shot. He's made a few of those tonight, DuBose with two. In his first ever ACC tournament game, attacking the rim and finishing to add to the lead for the Demon Deacons.